Hello all, welcome to the Lunar Sea Spire cartoon fan podcast. This is episode 284, and today we'll be talking about the trailer for the final episodes of Steven Universe Future. I'm GC13. I'm Isabel. And I'm David. The final episodes of Steven Universe Future, the final episodes of Steven Universe. This is, a uh, weird. We kind of thought that the series, like, accidentally ended on us a year ago, and now we actually know it's ending. It's a, it's a strange place to be. Well, Change Your Mind would have been a beautiful ending. Let's, let's not, uh, let's not ignore the trauma that Steven's gone through in future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, um, kind of looks like it's going to be quite a mind trip. The, this next ten episodes and final ten episodes seems to really hone on exclusively Steven and his mental anguish as he is frequently, mo- most of these scenes look like they might take place either dreaming or he's like frequently just alone and there's also an extended scene where he's in some sort of hospital and also recounting his horrible experiences in a hospital but there's a lot of focus on steven being alone and angsty and very pink and he is uh not embracing his pinkness like before he has Mm -hmm. some shots where he looks particularly afraid of himself well, that shot where Connie says she's worried about him uh, looks like it's the same shot where he says, but that's really nothing to worry about, which is lies. Yeah. Lies. Mm-hmm. Right, which is probably near the beginning. He's trying to be super dismissive. And as far as dream sequences are concerned, I'm usually wrong when I call for something to be a dream sequence, but this hmm. time I see no other explanation other than dream sequence when he's falling down you know, away from the house and into the bottomless void, it seems. I I don't know what else that could be other than, you know, dream sequence, hallucination, something like that. Yeah, I really liked the whole glitch city sequence that we experienced back in Rose's room. So kind of like bringing it back around to that to have Steven go through another weirdly animated, you know, almost horror, bring it Steven Universe back to its, you know, honest horror roots from, you know, early season one. They never did explain how Onion was able to break into Rose's room. Uh, you know, where's Lion in this trailer? The, 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 big, the big thing, the big uh, elephant in the room for the fandom is, of course, Steven's corruption, which, because we've seen a giant war monster, and because there's only ten episodes, and because those ten episodes mm. focus exclusively on Steven, despite um, the, the many fandom arguments about how we've seen corruption work before and how it shouldn't be viable this time around just because Steven is a diamond and he and he's mad or upset with himself. I, I don't see another path forward. Like, it, there's not going to be an epic space worm battle where we find out that, you know, the diamonds had some other threat to them, right? This seems like a very personal ending. And, uh, I mean, what, what else could it be, right? Do, are there, you guys got any other theories? No, Steven's going to be traumatized like crazy. What do you think, Isabel? Yeah, that worm, it could either be Steven himself or it's somebody else. I don't know. I mean, yeah, there's just, that's the thing. It seems so straightforward at this point, but like, what? <laughs> He's just going to be a worm and then he won't be a worm? Like, I, I don't know what that's going to look like. Connie hugs will fix the day. Well, like, what, what exactly is this 10 episodes going to say about Steven? Like, what is the deeper thing he's dealing with? Like, we already dealt with Steven's identity crisis. Now we're sort of both, we, we've revealed both that, like, Pink Diamond herself had a um, more bratty, angry, destructive, abusive past, you know, and that's kind of like a new direction for her character, at least in the movie and in Steven Universe Future era. But, like, <sighs> I don't know how much farther this goes personally for Steven. Steven needs to learn that other people's problems aren't his own anymore. Maybe he still needs to learn that in relation to his mom. But, like, where does the worm and corruption really fit into that, like, thematically? I don't know. Okay, well, hear me out. Steven, through the early, very early parts of the series, really, really wanted to be needed by the Crystal Gems. He even calls out in Steven Universe Future, why do I need to be needed? Then, once they do need him, you know, he's felt that for a long time. You know, he's been the he's been the big dog for a long time. And now, now that he's going through puberty, that <laughs> cauldron of angst anyway, he's all of a sudden lost that thing that he wanted so bad. And uh, he is isolating himself from 
all of the people who might be able to help him through it. I think he and they need to forcibly prevent him from isolating himself. Like a like a power of friendship kind of thing, except like uh like a like a literally having friends will make you happier, not like a friendship will defeat evil or something. Right. I do wonder plot wise though, what else accelerates Steven's pinkification though? Like, yeah, he's experienced some feelings in some episodes of future so far, but like I guess one catalyst is gonna be what looks like a failed date with Connie. I feel like that might be the kickoff to this next 10 episodes that gets him rolling, but I feel like more stuff is happening. Like, we see Steven in his blue hospital gown recounting everything, like he's having, like, this, you know, almost, like, PTSD flashback. But, like, what what's what's driving that? Is, is it just, like, diamond powers gone amok and he just can't control all the feelings he's having? But what exactly are those feelings? Like, is there anything newer than just all my friends are moving away? Connie doesn't want to date me <laughs> because I, you know, got mad. I don't know. I'm interested to know what the what the other piece is. Either more things about Pink Diamond coming up or some other external thing. But but everything feels so internal. I mean, maybe that's just the teenageness, right? I guess sometimes when you're a teenager, these feelings just start occurring and you're mad that you don't even know why you're mad. Uh, maybe it's something along those lines. I mean, I don't know why he would be flashing back to change your mind, because all, like all the stuff he experienced there, like those were from the good old days, you know, back when he was happy. You know, those are those are problems he could he could confront and hug it out with the villains. You know, in this, there's no villain to there's no villain to hug. And you could, like Stephen, Stephen's tried before to hug himself, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't work so well, does it? I mean, the thing that's suspect about it being the Diamond Day stuff is that the fandom also had a lot of trouble with the fact that Steven seemingly forgave the diamond so easily. Like, could another catalyst be that he realizes that, you know, potential character flaw in himself that he's been in the past too, too forgiving, too open? Does that come to bite him back for some reason? Mm, I don't think the series would ever say that forgiving someone who, like, the diamonds have been pretty upfront that they actually want to be forgiven. Like, they're, they're not playing the long game like Navy was or like Bluebird was. Speaking of all those characters, uh, does how does, I mean, this, this trailer looked so personal to Steven. Where do Bluebird, you know, Spinel, even Jasper fit back into this? There is a sequence where Steven's running through the woods. I think maybe he could be talking to Jasper again or even training with her or talking about stuff again. But I don't know where the other pieces fit in. And it. Feels weird that we even spent time in the first 10 episodes talking to random lapises and, uh, you know, even establishing Little Homeworld. Like, they're sort of pieces that feed into Steven, but not entirely. I, I don't know. I just feel like there's so little room left. There's so little room. So I feel like only this one story can play out, which is just about Steven's corruption. Well, let's see here. Thinking of the lapises specifically, they showed very clearly that... Victory via strength was not something that they considered to be a victory, so they could do that with Jasper coming out to fight him after he goes bad, and that just makes things worse. I could see that thematically tying in. Yeah, that's kind of a funny lesson, because now the only person Steven has to be violent, I mean, like, the only bad character right now is potentially Steven, so, like, the lesson of violence won't solve this is a lesson that no one in the core cast seems to need to learn, except for maybe Jasper. So maybe that lesson comes back to Jasper, but I mean, Steven's not going to be the one teaching it, and Jasper didn't witness that scene between the Lapises and him. I mean, let's just be honest. Everyone wants Jasper to come riding in to save the day, or at least I do. I mean, if anyone can take on a giant worm, it would be our big buff Cheeto Puff. Back on Homeworld, she's wrangled bulls, and she's wrangled worms. <laughs> Doing both at the same time just saves rope. Man, I don't... Have I seen Alaskan bullworm memes applied to the corruption Steven yet? That should really happen. Oh, I'm... It's definitely sure it been will. done before. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get a full-on scene where uh, where Jasper says that she'll catch your Steven for you if you're willing to pay, but <laughs> I can dream. <laughs> Excuse me, GC. You got to get it right. It's if in you're willing to pay. Well, Is Jasper <laughs> ain't Texan, son, so <laughs> she ain't loud. Ain't nothing! <laughs> uh, so the fan artists are just gonna have to help us out with that. 
So what about, you know, in the theme song, there's like one other character that we haven't seen yet. It's this one that looks like White Diamond, but she's kind of pinkish. Who is she? Oh, oh my God. I had almost forgotten about that. That is a great reminder. What the heckin' heckity heck is pink White Diamond? How does Hmm. that even relate? That, oh my goodness, you're right. There's so little time. How do we fit? Hey, hey, but does that tie back into Steven's regret of accepting the diamonds if he learned something terrible about white slash pink and it drives? That's the, ooh, that is the external factor. That could be an external Maybe. factor that drives this. Considering how she's turning pink, it looks like, I mean, it could be a fusion between the two, except for one, we don't see the belly gem, and two, it looks exactly like white diamond. So what I think is much more likely is it's some kind of overshadowing of her, like white does to other people. So instead of draining their color out, he turns her pink. And, uh, well, let's just say whatever reason he does this for, it ends up poorly. Because this is Steven Universe Future, and Steven cannot be happy until maybe the 20th episode. At the very end. I, I, my, my mind is racing to figure out how to connect. I mean, think about how big of a moment Steven you know, shadowing White Diamond would be, and you have to fit in that Steven becomes a giant worm, or maybe Steven shadowing White Diamond causes her to become the worm, except the worm's design really shares no semblance to, you know, White Diamond. (sighs) She's got the spiky hair and the worm has the spikes. There are some similarities. Yeah. But it really is a very quartzy kind of worm. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a reason people were assuming that was Steven from so long ago. It's just got a Steven-y vibe. Man, but what? Steven is clearly going off the rails. The diamonds have to step in, and then White Diamond gets pinked. But what on earth is going to resolve that? It ain't going to be a Connie hug. I feel like, unlike the resolution of Steven getting to make a joke to White Diamond... You're right. This might take a Spinel hug. Yeah, I mean, does Spinel come back in? Is that her moment? I'm going to be... She's in the theme song! She better show up! There is, there's so much, I, however this ends up going down, it's definitely going to be surprising, right? Like, this is not, I, I have not seen a comprehensive theory that, that pulls all these things together. All I know is that this is not the Steven Universe future that the movie promised me. <laughs> Very sad. Yeah, is, I mean, is there going to be kind of a somber end to this? I feel like, I don't know, man. I... Part of me, like, Rebecca likes the tears, and she already got her happy ending once. In fact, you know, happy ending twice. Maybe this is the time for a sad ending. Well, she has been saying online that even if this is the last animated series she does with the characters, that she'll be doing more with them. So, you know, as I've proposed before, I hope that means that she'll be personally writing and illustrating Steven Universe comic books in the future. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah, there's still so much territory to explore. Like, fusions? What What do the diamonds look like fused? A uh, freaking lion who I know... I always thought that we were gonna really understand lion all the way by the end. But, uh, no, that ain't happening. Unless lion is somehow a core piece to pink diamonds still. W- why he's a magic portal is just never gonna be truly answered, except for rock magic. And that's okay. Diamond um, magic. Do you guys have things that, like, you were hoping to see by the end of the series, but now won't (laughs) for this? Um, I wanted to know where the gems came from, but that probably won't happen now. Eh. Yeah. Well, there's always, um, I don't know, maybe to heal Steven, we gotta go back to understanding the raw nature of the gems, maybe? But yeah, that seems unlikely. Again, I'm not sure that, that that's like perfect comic book material, but I don't think that would be where Rebecca Sugar's interests lie. You know, as for me, question I want answered most of all, the first thing I think of is what was in the treasure chest in Lion's Mane? <laughs> that too. That's cruel uh, that they haven't answered that. And they like teased us like, ha, huh, now you'll never know. I mean, whatever it was, it didn't change the world or Steven or anyone else. Yeah, it wasn't important, but the answer still matters to the fandom. Well, unless, again, like... Like I said, I'm looking for an external factor to push Steven off the edge. Is that it? Whatever he took out of the chest is somehow a thing he's regretted taking out and just now it becomes a problem? Probably not. Of course, I don't have all the leak knowledge. How Do do the leaks give us way more direction than 
we're talking right now? I haven't been, like, actively seeking out the leaks, but from what I've heard about the leaks, let me just say that we think we know what sets Steven off, but we could be wrong, but it does sound like an event that would do it. But other than that, nothing that doesn't fit in anyway. Nothing that I know anyway. So there might even already be the external factor. Yeah. I'm still hoping for a happy ending, but the it is this is this is not setting up like a happy ending series. Oh, no. This is like a series where the happy ending is everyone lives and they get to go their separate ways. Not everyone rides off into the sunset together. I mean, it's going to be this is going to be some hopefully pretty pretty great television and it it's all going to air really quickly. And also the last four episodes are aired together again just like the first four were for future um, I wonder if they're going to be sort of like Change Your Mind was, where, again, it's one continuous plot. Hmm. Probably not, but that would be interesting to keep track of. Maybe they do that. I just wonder if Pink Pearl's coming back. I mean, 20 episodes, they yeah. don't have much time. <sighs> and Peridot and Lapis. Oh, yes, we need them. Oh, don't even, don't even get me started about Peridot, who has been disrespected since she, <laughs> since she got, you know, redeemed. Man. Man, man, man. It's okay. I am, just to clarify for listeners who may be feeling down right now because we're just so down, the series is ending and we're sad and, you know, there's not, you know, but I still, I, I love it and I'm going to be excited. There's just like all those missed opportunities or missed things where now we're reminiscing, you know, and some characters, you know, man, I hope we get those spinoff comics. It would be so nice. I mean, there are already the official comics. So uh, all, all we need is something by Rebecca Sugar herself. That would be fun for her making comics again. Something that just came to my mind, which I, I heard a critique recently of Change Your Mind that I think might actually be addressed possibly by this ending and bring in a lot of our characters, is that in Change Your Mind, Steven was sort of still critical to all the gems and, well, everyone, uh, as far as like still being the one who had to redeem and and remind everybody of their character growth. So like when he, you know, is in his astral form and he has to remind all the core crystal gems, you know, even it's it's the finale and they're still thinking poorly about themselves and Steven still has to remind them personally that they're, you know, changed people. And then, you know, he has to do that same hard work with the diamonds. Like that could be reversed here. Maybe it's finally time for everyone else to unite all of our core cast and somehow break through to Corrupted Steven. That probably, like, I have a mental image now of all those characters somehow coming together. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I was talking about fusions. We could have one pretty epic fusion to battle a giant worm monster. Giant worm monster battle with all the gems fused. Think mm. about that for the ending of Steven Universe Future. I mean, what's mm. the point of a giant worm if you don't have an even more giant woman? Well, I don't know nothing about Alaska, but you just you're making me think of the final boss fight of A Hat in Time, where oh. the main character's attacks are, you know, powered up by all of the people she's met along the way so she can take down the take down the enemy. I mean, it's like they they just come by in bits and pieces. Yeah, come on. You can, you know, encouraging her Telling the villain that they don't like her very much. Uh, you know, support character stuff. And then uh, turn yeah. that into a little bit of the I believe in you from Attack the Light. <laughs> I believe mm. in you. <laughs> okay, also, also, the cluster I just thought of, <laughs> loose ends in my brain. They are all flying everywhere. Is the cluster coming back out to help fight the oh. worm? Maybe the, what if even the cluster... <laughs> It's fused with everybody, and then the cluster gets healed. Can the cluster be healed? I don't even know. That would be interesting, fusing yeah. with the cluster to pull it out of the earth. I don't know if it could do that safely, but if anything could do it, a fusion could do it. The gravity would still rip the planet apart, but... Eh. <laughs> They'll um. safely battle far away from Earth. Except, I don't know how well gravity is defined anyway in Steven Universe. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just saying, the cluster is currently undefeated in arm wrestling. Would the worm be tough enough to take it on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, did you guys have anything else? Oh, I'm looking forward to the episodes. 
Oh yeah, me definitely. I'll have a box of tissues ready. For sure. <sighs> oh, the tears will flow. So it, it's airing two episodes each week and then four at the end. That ups, adds up yeah. to ten, yeah. Yep. This is going to be quite, yep. quite the event. Probably one of the last major televised events on Cartoon Network, if I had to guess. Mm. Based on the direction of... Mm. Well, everything's about to change, I think, for Cartoon Network and, well, everyone else after HB, HBO Max comes out. Everything changed when HBO Max attacked. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Anyway, that's been us on the trailer for the second half of Steven Universe Future. Join us next week. Until then, I'm GC13. I'm Isabel. And I'm David. Don't forget to uh, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. Later, everybody. Our opening and closing music is by Mark Soto. For more cartoon-related content, please visit LunarCeasefire.com.